The next logical gate that we're going to introduce is the AND gate. Uh, the AND gate actually does implement binary multiplication. Uh, so the definition of ANDing is um, the output of an AND gate is 1 if and only if all inputs are 1. Okay, so um, the AND gate can take two or more inputs um, and it just has one output. The schematic symbol for the AND gate looks like this. For a two input AND gate, we have our two input lines coming in and then there's a straight line here, a rounded edge here, and then the output comes over here. So if I label my inputs A and B, I can label my output, let's say I call it F this time, so my function. The notation is A times B, but it's read A and B. Okay, so anding is represented by the multiplication sign. So you might see this as um, A and B. B. So any kind of sim symbolic um, symbols like this that represent multiplication, you might see these interchangeably. Okay, great. So um, we're interested in the truth table for the AND gate. So remember, the truth table has to have all combinations of inputs. So if my inputs are A and B, my output is F and f implements the function a and b. And my truth table looks like this. I have to have every combination, right? So I have to have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So this is the case when both zeros are coming into our inputs a and b. And our output of, for the AND gate is going to be 0, because it's only going to output 1 if all of the inputs are 1. Okay, great, so A and B is zero. Um, sorry, one and zero is zero, and then one and one is one. So here's the truth table for the two input AND gate. And um, remember, this does implement binary multiplication because zero and zero is zero, zero and one is zero, one and zero is zero, and one and one is one. So I'll show you how um, we use this to implement some more complicated functions in the next video.